this is Mr. T again working on another word problem for trigonometry. This is a problem dealing with navigation where we're given bearings. If we read the problem, we have two planes leaving an airport at approximately the same time. One is flying 425 miles per hour at a bearing of 355 degrees and the other is flying 530 miles at a bearing of 67 degrees. And after two hours, we want to find the distance between the two planes. So we start out, we have an airport. And since we're using uh, bearings of this tarp, we need a compass. Remember, on bearings, we start at zero at, nine, at uh, heading north, and we go clockwise. So for the first one, a bearing of 355 degrees, we would start going around the circle. 355 degrees is just short of all the way around, which would be 360. That gives us that this little angle in here is 5 degrees. Our second plane, we go 67 degrees uh, to the right of north and put our second airplane. Now we can see that we have two angles here that are adjacent, so we can uh, add those together and have uh, 72 degrees. Also, I completed the triangle here showing uh, that we wanted to find the distance between the two planes. Now we're going to be using this triangle here. We have an angle. We need to see if we can get some distances. We weren't given distances, but we were given speed and time. We can use the DIRT formula. Distance equals rate times time. So for the first airplane going this direction, we had 425 miles per hour for two hours, so that's 850 miles. For the second airplane, it was traveling at 530 miles per hour for two hours, 1,060 miles per hour. We can see now that we have a side angle side problem, which is a classic law of sines problem. And the angle that, or the side we're trying to find is opposite that angle. So we set up using the law of sines formula. Since we have all numbers here, we can put that into the calculator and calculate, and we get this number. Since that's the distance squared, we need to take its square root, and if I round that, we get 1,135 and a half miles. Hope this example helps, and have a nice day.